last time I filmed a video, I had 10 more inches of hair. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you have not followed me on Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter, you wouldn't know that this happened. Um, I recently cut off over 10 inches of my hair. Um, and I'm gonna explain a little bit why. I'm gonna explain some of my favorite products for my new hair. So I'm just gonna quickly explain to you guys the reason why I cut my hair. So there were really two reasons. The first thing was I have wanted to donate my hair to cancer patients, you know, to create wigs for cancer patients for a long time. Just, I remember seeing one of my friends do it when I was like eight or nine and I was like, I wanna do that, that seems so cool. And so I have always wanted, so that's what, 10 or 11 years that I've been thinking about this, wanting to do it. So for me, that was a really big motivation. Then. The other reason was the ends of my hair, I had a solid one or two inches on the ends that were just dead. So obviously, you know, I wanted to get rid of that part as well because, you know, I bleach my hair. My hair is not naturally this color. So really for me, constantly doing that and not moisturizing it and not taking care of it really has given me like hell on earth for my hair ends. Like they just were so dead. It was just not a good experience for me. So I kind of wanted to get rid of that and I've always wanted to donate my hair to cancer patients. So I ended up taking about 10 inches off. The ponytail that I donated, if you see it, saw it on Instagram, um, I Instagrammed the ponytail because they cut your hair in a ponytail once you donate it. Um, that was only about eight and a half inches and then she had to really even it out and I wanted some layers on the side over here so um, it ended up being another probably an inch and a half off of it. So I just went for it and I, you know, I'm kind of at the stage in my life where I'm doing a lot of different things and I just said, you know, it's hair. To me, it has always been hair. It's not something that is really permanent, you know? If you hate it right now, you hate it right now, you know? It, and I don't hate it. I, I think it actually looks pretty cute, you know? I, I'm getting used to it. It's weird seeing it every once in a while, weird touching it, and I'm like, where did all my hair go? But, um, you know, I just think it's fun to do different things, you know, to just, I had that hairstyle for however many months. You know, I've cut it before. This is the shortest that it's ever been, and I really like it, you know? It feels good, it feels really healthy. So starting out, I wanna mention that all these products that I mentioned are cruelty free to the best of my knowledge. So I've done as much research as possible and I'm pretty sure all of these brands are cruelty free. If they aren't, please let me know down below. Don't hesitate to correct me. Um, so as far as I know, these are cruelty free from what I was told, from what I researched. Um, but again, if they're not, just let me know. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is my shampoo. So. I do use a purple shampoo because I have blonde hair, because I want to tone it every once in a while. Um, the one I'm currently using is the Dry Bar Blonde Ale shampoo. I'm not really mentioning it because purple shampoo isn't used for everybody, um, but I do enjoy it, so that's something if you're interested. And then the shampoo that I'm using every day of the week is Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Shampoo. So every day of the week is kind of an exaggeration. Um, I currently wash my hair, and I mentioned this before, about three times a week max. Um, sometimes too, depends if I'm going to the gym, depends if I'm pulling my hair back, depends if I'm going to work, all those kinds of things. I kind of just play it by ear. Um, I use a lot of dry shampoo, so <laughs> really for me, it's just kind of how I'm feeling the day out. If I feel like I really need to wash my hair, I will. If I don't, I don't. So this stuff is fantastic. It smells really good. It gives you a nice lather. I feel like it doesn't do anything remotely like stripping my hair because, you know, with the drugstore brand things when I was using Pantene, when I was using Head & Shoulders, those kinds of things, I always felt like it was kind of stripping my hair. This is more expensive, but you know, if it's something that you want to invest in, don't feel like you need to invest in a huge routine of products that are really expensive. Maybe just get a shampoo or a conditioner or whatever you feel like is working best for your hair. So those are what I would use in the shower. Then we're going to talk after I get out of the shower. These are my two favorite products to use. I have been loving this Southern Belle Volumizing Mousse from Dry Bar. Okay, so I talked about this a long time ago and I don't know what happened. I basically used it a couple times and then I just forgot about it. Oh my gosh, I just found this. It's amazing. It doesn't weigh down my hair. It doesn't make my hair feel crunchy, which is awesome because I have such thin hair. Um, this stuff smells really good too, which is really awesome. I love Dry Bar's brand. You know, it's all cruelty free and all of their stuff is really cute. The other company that I use is the Phyto Paris Spray Volume Intense. Um, this is the Photo Volume Active um, Volumizing Spray. So basically what I'll do with this is I'll take it, it's just like a little spritzer 
I don't know if you saw that. Um, but I spritz it into kind of my, my roots rather than my ends because you really want the volume in the roots. Um, so I spray it in the roots and then this is activated by heat. So you have to blow dry your hair. So I will blow dry it. I don't use this all the time because I, I, I'm trying to not use as much heat on my hair as often. Um, but what I do, I do like this. So after I put in those products, I will put in my Verb Ghost Oil. This is the Smoothing Moringa Blend with um, Weightless Hair Oil. So I know for a fact this company is fully vegan, cruelty-free because I checked on their website and I knew I figured it all out. Even after I bought it, I found out. So um, this stuff is really good. It smells really nice and it doesn't weigh down my hair again. That's what I'm really concerned about with all of my hair, especially now that it's a lot shorter, um, is that I don't want it to be, you know, Know, really heavy really oily looking I don't put this obviously on my roots I will only ever put this on my ends I'll run it through the back end of my hair all the parts that I feel like need some love and attention and TLC and then the final thing I'm gonna mention is treatments so these are things that I do on my hair once a month once every two months whenever I feel like my hair needs kind of some extra love um so I don't really put a time li limit on these. It's not like, oh, I did one last week. I can't do one now. If I feel like my hair is just dead, I'm get, I'm gonna do one because you know it's nice. It's a good thing to do, but I wouldn't recommend doing one every single day. So, the two products that I really really enjoy are the Tangled Hot Oil Treatment from Lush. This is 100% vegan. I double checked on the ingredients. The kinky version is not vegan, if that's something that you're interested in, um, because it has lanolin in it, which is from sheep's wool. So that one is not vegan, but if you're not worried about that one, then that one's for you. But this one is fully vegan. It's got like olive oil and jojoba oil and all those nice, really rich things that are going to give your hair a really nice, you know, feeling. And then if I'm feeling really ambitious, I'll use this with it, but if not, I'll just chill out and use this whatever. Um, this is going to be the Way Hair Care Treatment Mask. Um, there are three packets in this one. I think you can buy the, the six packet one as well. But um, this is by Jen Atkin. This is her line of hair products. If you've never heard of Jen Atkin, she's a celebrity hairstylist, blah, blah, blah. And they come in these little foil packets. Um, and there's very little product in here. So, you know, it's hard to sometimes you do this by itself. You know, sometimes you can put some coconut oil on before you do it. But um, this is kind of like a trial size. I got this at the checkout at Sephora. And I really enjoy this as well. This is also a cruelty-free brand. So, you know, both of these together are really nice. Separate, they're really nice. Either way, whatever you guys like, you know, it's kind of a treat yourself thing. You know, find a treatment that really helps your hair. If you have curly hair, your needs are going to be different than somebody who has straight, thin hair. You know, if you have really thick, damaged hair, your hair needs are going to be different than somebody else. So, you know, you, you can take my recommendations into account, but also remember, my hair type is really weird. It's like, I have a lot of hair, but it's very, very thin hair, and it's very, very fine hair. So for me, when I make hairstyles or when I do things, it can be very hard for them to stay in my hair because it just has a hard time staying. So, you know, just keep that into account with all of my hair recommendations. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video about my new short hair and, you know, all my recommendations for it. Um, so yeah, thank you again for watching and I will see you back here later. I'm sipping on you like some fun wine dough. When it's over, I press for wine dough. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamin's in my pocket.